it is super early um, and it's just getting light and we're in Tensmere Forest in Fife. Um, hopefully going to be filming some red squirrels. Um, I've arrived but I'm waiting for Mr Doug Allen who is late. He's managed to circumnavigate the poles using only stars but somehow has gotten lost driving around Fife. Hey how's it going? My name's Libby and last year I won the Nat Geo and Wild Screen Wild Pitch Contest in the on-screen category. The project that won was called the Animal Kingdom of Fife and it's about two wildlife filmmakers, myself and the legendary Doug Allen, exploring home turf, the Kingdom of Fife in Scotland. And it's a place you wouldn't typically think to go to for amazing animal behaviour, but we think there's a lot to uncover there. The gist of it all is actually that we are two people on a nature investigation to see how we can better help the situation uh, at a local level from the perspective of two people nearly half a century apart in age. Doug, look at this. Turned up already, we've only been here two minutes, less than that. <laughs> there he is. Look. <laughs> so, an update of where we're at with the project. We've been very, very busy with it this year and we've been working with a production company here in Scotland and developed it into a full TV series. We've also been out and shot various bits and pieces for it and very much hoping to take it into full production next year. We're definitely going for something slightly unconventional here, so it's a kind of much more wacky and outside of the box conservation show but yeah we think when it comes to talking about the climate emergency we need to come at it from different angles we're having a lot of fun with it and very much looking forward to sharing what we've been up to with everyone who do you think is getting the better shots <laughs> <laughs> who's got I'm the not, I'm not getting competitive like that you're not getting competitive no. next time i'll bring along one of the bastards <laughs> In terms of how my career has changed since being involved with wild skiing and the wild pitch contest last year, it's been honestly a fantastic year. I've made so many connections down in Bristol, so we've managed to work with production companies down there, but also just make a big pool of friends that also work in natural history filmmaking. Yeah, it's just been a huge year, very, very busy. Loads of work in Scotland, um, I've presented several TV shows, and I'm just really grateful for being involved in the Wild Stream Contest, because it's definitely been a, a domino effect of good stuff has come from that. So I very much encourage anybody to get out there and apply for it when it comes around next year.